Hello guys, my name is Mohammad Shahzad and you guys watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shahzad. So today we have uh, real Cisco switches in front of us. This is layer switch 2, layer 2 switch A and this is layer 3 switch. We have two models. One is 2960 and one is 3560. So today we will configure a port channel, a real port channel on a real device. Sorry, my webcam is little shaky. Hope you guys uh, will not disturb. This is my home lab switches. So first we will take on one cable because this port is uh, uplink on this is 1G 1G and here is also 1G 1G. In this layer 3 switch, I have uh, SFP ports for fiber connections. This is a SFP. We put a fiber module here, a fiber cable. So I have a four port fiber uplinks, but we don't have a uplink fiber here in this switch. So we will use these two with these two coppers. So I will go connect with one and then we'll connect this one to port number 47. Then the second cable we'll take, we'll connect into second, this one, and we will connect this cable to 48. And then we'll configure our port channel for these two ports. If you see the lights are up here and here as well, the both lights are up. Here we go the two cables we will make an uplink a port channel from here to here and let's go install our console cables I already connected to my workstation we have a console cable here here is the console cable I'll connect on first backside of this switch we have a console here connected now we will go on our computer and then we will start configuring this port channel these two let's go and configure okay so we are on our computer and we'll start putty and we'll go serial our check the our comport number sorry our cable the comport number connected on three so i'll change to three and open so we are still on our switch layer 2 switch the layer 2 one okay so i will show you uh, in the powerpoint a uh, one little diagram so you guys can stay with me So we have two switches. This is another switch, layer three switch here. Okay, so we connected two cables, one and two like this. So right now I am on this switch. So we'll see enable, show interface status. So here we can see we have uh, two ports gigabit which are connected. Conf T, I will go interface port channel. You can give a number one. Enter switchboard mode trunk. No shut. Description uplink to core switch 
Okay, exit. Okay, now these two ports we will put in this port channel. Interface range gigabit zero slash one to two. Switchboard mood trunk. Description is uplink to core, no shut. Channel group one, mood active, no shut. Right, so we are configuring. Show ether channel summary. We can see we have one port channel, LSCP, two ports inside, and WMIM waiting to be aggregated. So I will connect my console cable to the second switch, which is also ready. Okay, enter. Now I'm on a home lab switch, which is our core switch. Enable. Okay. Cisco is a password. And I will change the enable password first. Enable secret also. So, okay. So, let's go. Show interface status. In this, we can see last two ports are connected. 48 and 47. Conf T. First, we can see show ether channel summary. There is no ether channel. We'll create interface port channel one. Description connected. Description link to switch and switchboard mood trunk. Okay, encapsulation we have to do switchboard trunk encapsulation dot one Q switchboard mood trunk no shut exit now interface range gigabit 47 if you see our cables connected 47 and 48 so once zero slash 47 and 48 switchboard mode trunk okay switchboard trunk encapsulation dot one q switchboard mode trunk channel group one mode active no shot exit write memory so we'll see show ether channel summary and you can see our port channel is up okay this is how we create a real port channel on two real switches let's go back to switch one and check on the other side vice versa if the okay I change the console from home lab which is core switch to normal switch one let's see here also summary here also channel is in P state and if you check here the P means bundled import channel and it's working fine there is nothing wrong so our switch can go to the core switch now so this is the port channel LACP we made it with the switch port mode trunk and channel group 1 mode active it's make LACP. Hope you guys understand and uh, you have learned the how to make a port channel on a real switch. Thank you very much.
take care if you forget if you're new on my channel please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos take care bye bye